Flying Bandit here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and today's video will just be a quick one. We're not doing a flight today, but I um, just wanted to show you the latest Navigraph chart integration into the Avionics Aircraft Update 1 aircraft featuring the G3000-5000 Avionics Suites. We're back in the longitude, and it'll be the longitude to TBM, and I think some payware aircraft like the Honda Jet and the Vision Jet will eventually have this as well, which will include uh, chart integration. So uh, let's hop in the cockpit. I'll just show you the feature and uh, some of the setup. You can also do SIM brief integration. And yeah, so let's hop in the cockpit. All we're going to do is uh, just going to get, get rid of the oak here, we'll get our battery on and external power, get things booted up. We're here in San Diego, and I just programmed a quick flight to Las Vegas that we're just going to show you how to do the entry. So the first thing you need to do before you run the sim is uh, for PC users, and this will only be available for PC users at the current time, I believe. It uh, will be available on Xbox for the payware aircraft, but right now I think you just have to be be able to have the Navigraph Hub on your PC installed, and then you select the Avionics uh, plugin for G3000-5000, which has just been added to the Hub, and you just install that. Then you go in, you go into your aircraft, and the first time you'll see uh, we have charts and SimBrief available now. And the first time you click on uh, SimBrief, it's going to bring up our flight plan, but you're going to get a, a screen pop-up, which will... Uh, looks something like this. This is from their uh, link to their uh, explanation of how to uh, set everything up. And you'll see a, a way to link your Navigraph account to, uh, to the uh, SIM. And then once that's uh, there, you'll uh, have this screen and then you'll be able to import your recent flight plans. You can refresh the list. It says my latest flight plans, and I believe it. It looks like it's just uh, filtered them for the longitude because I had a flight plan in here for the 787, and it doesn't seem to be here. So it looks like it's filtered out just longitude flight plans. And then you uh, click on import. And then when you uh, import, you see now the flight plan is in our system. And if we go to our, we have our flight plan page here, we can see the flight plan is in there. Now, one issue you need to be aware of is this flight plan included the uh, departure. So we'll go to the procedures page here, and we were doing the Echo 2 departure, but it didn't put in the correct transition, uh, even though, so we were going to Mizen, and you can see in our flight plan, it's just got the flight plan to Echo and then, or sorry, we're going to Seal Beach uh, transition there. So you can see uh, Seal Beach in there. And Seal Beach was in our flight plan, but it didn't put the transition for Seal Beach for the departure. So if I go to the procedures, we've got the Echo 2, and it just has the straight Echo transition, but it also has the LSI transition. So you need to verify that and load it up we're off runway nine and then we load in and it's got the extra waypoints uh which is uh gofu and moto and then uh, sierra Lima, india so we load that and then we have the correct transition and it was the same thing for the arrival procedure we were doing the rounders two for the ls26 left and uh original flight plan has us going to mizen so if we look at the charts here uh takes us to Mizen on the route, and then we're supposed to do the Mizen transition, and it's left out a bunch of waypoints from the Mizen transition. So if we go back to procedures, and you can see there's no transition selected, so it just starts at uh, round is, but if we select the Mizen transition, and we're doing two five left, and we see we got now Mizen and the extra waypoints up to round is in there, and we load that. So that's the only fault I see with loading the SimBrief flight plan. It doesn't seem to load the correct transition. Um, so I, I'm not sure if there's a way they can fix that, but just something to watch out for when you load your flight plans. So now our route is in there. So if I go to the, we're on the map page. I go to full page here. And we just uh, zoom out. And we can see 
our full map all the way up to Vegas there. So that's good. And it's great if you have a really long flight plan, save you a lot of, a lot of data entry, being able to integrate that from SimBrief. And the next thing now is a charts feature. So you can see here we have our two panes. So this is the uh, light blue pane, and this is the light blue pane control panel here. And this is the magenta pane, and you can see the light purple magenta panel control over here. So this controls this pane, and this controls this pane. So if we select charts here, and we it's, it's in San Diego, it's got uh, an approach. That's probably the last uh, chart I selected there. So if we go hit chart selection again here, now we can bring up our airport chart. And you can see our airport chart is in here. You can uh, zoom it in. So I would probably load the airport chart up on here until uh, until we're ready to take off. And then we got a nice taxi reference. And over here with this panel, I can uh, also go to charts. And uh, yeah, I already have the uh, departure chart loaded in here. So we have the departure loaded in here. We can uh, zoom in and we can cursor over with the panel here to center this up. So now we have our nice departure set up over here. Uh, we have all the departure waypoints loaded in there. The plane will track that nicely. So I would leave the departure on here and then I would use this. And then as soon as I'm ready to take off, I would just go back to map. And then I have my departure up here for reference. So yeah, really nice features to be able to have the dual chart integration. If I want to go back to a uh, map over here, I just go back to the map I had, default map I had set up for that with the default map settings. So chart integration, really nice feature to have now back in the jet. And yeah, it looks, uh, looks really good. Another thing we'll just go over is the chart settings. So we'll go back to charts here. And uh, I will actually, I'll load up an approach chart. And we got the approach chart for uh, just a, the ILS in San Diego off runway nine here. And you got uh, chart options. So you can uh, fit to width. You can select day, night mode, or auto mode where it'll auto transition. So I'll go back to day mode. Auto, I think it would just, uh, when the sun goes down at twilight, it just switches back and forth. Back to day mode, you can have uh, shows all sectors here, but then you can just show a plan sector, a minimum sector, a header sector, or a profile sector. So yeah, so lots of ways to have nice zoom in features there. And then I'm assuming you can still, you know, it just seems those are locked to the uh, controls there. Yeah, so nice uh, handy features. Those are your settings there. You can just go back. Select another chart there. So yeah, you have all your arrival. You can change your airport up here. Not sure what sync uh, POF is. Uh, hit it. Oh, oh I think it uh, syncs to where you are in the in the. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That looks interesting. So it syncs to what phase of flight you're in. So we're on the ground. So it's synced to the ground airport. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to try that when I get flying again. Yeah. So really nice feature to have the navigraph charts uh, integrated. Very useful, increases the realism quite a bit, and it's nice to have the ability to have multiple charts and switch back and forth. And yeah, great feature. Looking forward to uh, doing a few flights with this uh, in the uh, in the longitude, and as well, we can try it in the TBM as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you uh, enjoyed it, make sure you hit that uh, like. Share, subscribe, sign up for notifications, and you'll see videos like uh, this when I put them on the future. I just came across this today. I was about to do a uh, the next flight in the 787. And, uh, yeah, so I thought I'd get this out real quick before I do that. So that should be out soon. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time on the Bandit Flight Summer channel. Bandit out.